the same energy that y'all bash Colorado with for a long time and rightfully so. Come on now. Give me that same energy in praising what Deion Sanders and Colorado are doing right now. They are six and two, bowl eligible. But I want to point out how we got here. Let's go back to last year. Because this week is the first time that the Colorado Buffaloes have been ranked all year. I ranked them in my Unafraid Show poll it, um, going into week nine. But now after week nine, going into week 10 is when the AP poll voters responded to it. Let's go back to last year. They start out 3-0, and everybody's all excited, and they got way too much hype. Now, Dion was playing upon that to build the brand. So much more money coming into the University of Colorado. Enrollment is up. Donations are up. Excitement about the program is up. And then they go on a huge losing streak to end the season. Shadour gets hurt. They can't protect them. It looks ugly. It looks a mess. Then in the offseason, Cormani McClain leaves. There is news and headlines about that. Shadour and, um, and Deion Sanders Jr. going at Cormani. Deion even taking a shot. Didn't like it. Deion apologized for it. and was like, y'all, that wasn't the right thing to do. Then there are reports coming all over the place shooting arrows at Colorado. And some of it is fair. Because Dion, he decided to uh, transfer out the whole school, transfer a whole new roster in. After all that Louis luggage he was bringing in, turns out it was Fugazi luggage. But now though, right? It's clear that he has something figured out. The offensive line is protecting Shadour better. The defensive line and whole front seven linebackers being way more physical. There are times they're actually stopping the run. Something that couldn't be done last year. And you know what else they're doing this year sometimes? Running the football. Yes, this is not last year's Deion Sanders Colorado team. And do you know what? I want you to pay attention. Go back on YouTube or wherever else and listen to his press conferences from last year to this year. I don't know whether he's been talking to Big Nick at them AFLAC commercials, and I'm talking about Nick Saban or anybody else, but there's a clear difference in the, you don't, you don't believe in us? Oh, you don't believe? And talking trash and going back and forth with everybody else and this guy that we see right here. This is a man who is focused and clearly has learned how to be a college football coach because you can be a disruptor and still understand that there are certain steps and fundamentals that you have to have. Prime example, you're a baseball player, right? Everybody has a different batting stance, but the people who are consistently good hitters, not a lot of head movement, stay on the ball, all of those things. And that's what Deion Sanders is doing. Fundamentals of coaching, recruit, develop, Put a good product on the field with a good culture and you will win football games. And that's what he's doing. And now this Colorado situation looks like it's more sustainable. It looks like it can work long term. And what we're seeing this year, the cohesion and everything else, because remember, people were saying, oh, Dion's going to be out after his son's leave. This don't look like a dude who's who's trying to take an escape hatch when Travis Hunter, Shadur and Shiloh leave. No, this looks like a dude who uh, who's in there for a while. And he looks like he's going to be able to turn Colorado into something, not just a flash in the paint, because Dion has been this bigger and bigger than life character. And that's what we got last year. But this year, this feels like something that has substance to it. So we got to give him the same credit publicly as people bash him publicly. Bring that same energy because if you're going to blast people, you got to give them their flowers when they're doing it. And he said something so great after this, uh, after their last win to get the bowl eligible to be six and two. They asked, how does it feel to be bowl eligible? He was like, man, look, I get it. This is a big deal. However, this is not our goal. We are just going to keep going and going. And you notice they're not on the same thing. There's a different level of maturity with Shadur Sanders. If Shadur Sanders was not getting the Heisman hype last year, like he wasn't getting this year, oh, Dion would have been chirping about it, making a big deal about it. But now he's like, okay, the goal is bigger. I get it. 
and now I still say that Dion has to recruit high school better, particularly on the offensive and defensive lines, because that's where you're going to build your depth. And you got to develop those guys. But he's doing a good job. Clearly, Warren Sapp, that hire, phenomenal hire. Been doing wonders for that defensive line. And he's figured out something with his coaching staff. And if anybody thought that there was not going to be a learning curve from Jackson State to, uh, to Colorado, and there wasn't going to be a learning curve with the transfer portal, high school recruiting, and everything else. You were fooling yourself. But this is clearly a man who is smart enough to figure it out. And yes, he's boisterous. And yes, he's got an ego, everything else. But you know who else does? Kurt Sengetti up there at Indiana. And everybody thinks that that's cute and that's cool. And we're all excited about that. So keep that same energy for the Colorado Buffaloes because uh, they coming. Actually, you know what? They're not even coming. They here.